there and welcome back to another fiber laser experience um, well actually today is going to be uh, quite an exciting one I think because today we're going to be seeing what colors we can get into stainless steel It's actually magical to watch, isn't it? Okay, so the end result of that is uh, there is some depth there, probably a thou or so, but I can feel. I can feel the grid. It's very, very similar to what it, it, uh, the the result that we got in steel. Actually, of course, this is stainless steel. Um, so we've got what colours have we got? We've got a grey here, a cream, coming to a white. Then um, grey. Then it goes to like a browny colour and a bit of a goldy colour. Um, then deeper browns and then gradually to, well, near black. Um, so we've got a, quite an array of colours there. Uh, there's a couple of greys here too by the look of it. Um, and several other different colours in the mix here. But, um, you know, these, these colours are okay, and you can do a lot with those. But, um, like I say, the, the party trick of this one, really, and it's not supposed to do it, is full colour. And um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, now this is a test card with a hatch pattern that is very, very compact and close together uh, and we're going to use the full range of Hertz that this uh, fiber laser can produce so here we go and this is at normal focus for this uh, standard 110 millimeter lens so here we go I'm trying to get in as close as I can. Don't think I can get any closer than that. You can see they're fairly dark down in the lower levels. And as the frequency level goes up, you can see that uh, maybe they will become lighter in colour. And when you got more light on it, it all looks like different shades of brown really so I'm just going to change the focus what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to lift the focus up just three millimeters Okay, this is running at 2.5 millimeters above now, and we're getting some really nice colors here. Got a, um, well, a, like a black, I suppose, moving to like a, a, a browny gold, now we're going into green. Um, 
several colours, colours of green there, no gold. So this is 2.5 millimetres, as near as I can judge here. Getting a bit of a blue there and a bit of a wishy-washy green. Okay, so we'll try it up a little bit further. Okay, so after many hours of testing, I've discovered that two and a half millimeters focus above the material is giving me the best sort of color results. Although I'm not using the best material and I I've just found out why I'm getting um, different results for the same uh, focus level and that is because although I'm putting a, a weight on the material to hold it flat you can see it's I don't know whether you can see that can you see the end it um, it tends to to give a, a different result for the same uh, focus um, in, in different areas so uh, what I did was these three uh, let me see which three was it that one that one and that one are all the same focusing that's uh, two and a half millimeters above uh, this one is two millimeters um, and this one was two millimeters but yet they gave only similar results or well, you can't see that one can you there you go these two were uh, two millimeters above um, and you know they are slightly different results and that is because this warpage and um, in areas it's a little streaky as well the colors are a little streaky and that is because to give a perfect unblemished color um, certainly with the blues that you can see here uh, it needs like a polished surface this um, oh, this type of finish on this stainless steel uh, I suppose you'd call it a brush finish um, whether these particulates um, I did clean these with uh, a little bit of um, actually glass cleaner I used so any anything in the um, the brush should we say in the bottom of the brush marks here um, it sort of I suppose there's a bit of a chemical reaction there because uh, what you're actually doing is when when the laser is is uh, going over the face of the material here you are annealing the top four or five microns of the stainless steel and it's turning the metal or making an oxide layer uh, on top of the stainless steel and which is giving these colors now to say a MOPA laser is the only one that can, can do this 
Well, they're not actually strictly telling you the truth, no way are they. Uh, and to, you know, a Mopa laser, 30 watt Mopa laser, same as this, is going to cost you another $2,000 more. That was some very interesting experimentation with this uh, fiber laser. Um, later this week I'm actually going to try the same uh, experiment but with the 200mm lens in. See if there's any difference. Probably not much difference with it. Uh, there, there may be a different uh, focal point. So roughly this particular uh, Rakus 30 watt fiber laser with a 110 millimeter focal uh, lens that's uh, what, about four and a quarter inches square working area. Um, you need to focus, a, you know, take it out of focus about two and a half millimeters above the surface of the material. Thank you.